Let's make some salmon steak. First, I start off with my brine, which consists of salt and water. Next, I'm going to put all my salmon steaks in there to, you know, soak up the brine, and I'm going to let it stay in there for 15 minutes. Now, I'm going to make my chimichurri, which consists of parsley, rosemary, chop that all up, red pepper flakes, some fresh lemon juice, olive oil, garlic, mix that all up, and we can't forget the salt and some black pepper. Mix that all up one more time, put that to the side, take out my salmon steaks, which have been soaking up the brine for about 15 minutes, pat it all down, dry it all up, Okay, we're going to pat that down one more time, and I'm going to use my kitchen knife so I can cut out the bone in the middle. And then to make sure I clip out the end, I'm going to use some kitchen shears. I forget to do this, but you can feel around for pin bones and you can take them out with a kitchen tweezer. And now I'm taking off a little part of skin from the salmon. I'm going to roll it up. And I'm going to get some kitchen twine. I'm going to double knot it around the, um, the salmon the first time. And then I'm going to tie it again for extra security and I'm going to cut off the excess. Pat it down one more time, I'm gonna soak up everything. And now I'm gonna season it with black pepper and salmon rub. But you can use any seasoning you want. All right, now I'm gonna put it in cornstarch. And I don't want too much cornstarch on there, so I'm gonna dust off all the excess cornstarch. And then I'm going to put it to fry on each side for about four minutes. All right, let's flip one of them over. And look how crispy that side is. Mm-hmm. Gonna plate it. And I'm going to take the kitchen twine off because you know we don't want to eat it. We don't want to eat the kitchen twine. And I want to make sure that I don't tear off any of the skin. I'm gonna pair it with some chimichurri. I'm gonna put a little bit of the juices on there. And now I'm gonna gonna put some lemon on there lemon juice slice that open put it on top of some quinoa salad man it's really making me confuse this for restaurant style fish have this with some chimichurri and mm, 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 this is some good homemade salmon steak hope you enjoyed as much as 